Something strange happens when humans leave Earth. Time doesn't move the same way up there. For a few astronauts, space wasn't just a destination. This video gathers real cases and unsettling stories where time bends, slows, or doesn't come back the same. From scientific missions that stole milliseconds from the clock, to accounts that raise far darker questions, the clips are ordered from the least disturbing to the most shocking. Watch closely, because the final case isn't just about space, it's about what happens when time itself lets something slip through. Number 15. Sergei Krikalev. A man leaves Earth as a citizen of one country and returns to a different world. While Sergei Krikalev was living aboard the Mir space station, the Soviet Union collapsed. Down on Earth, borders vanished, flags changed, and an entire nation ceased to exist. When he finally returned, Krikalev was no longer Soviet. He had become Russian without ever leaving orbit. The internet often calls him the astronaut who traveled through time, not because of science fiction, but because history itself shifted while he was suspended above the planet. Number 14, Michael Collins. One man orbited the moon completely alone. While humanity focused on the first footsteps on lunar soil, Michael Collins remained behind, circling the dark side of the moon. For long minutes on every orbit, he was cut off from all communication. No Earth, no crew, no signal. Conspiracy theories later claimed those silent intervals hid something disturbing. Missing time, strange transmissions, or events never made public. In reality, Collins himself described it as the most isolated moment any human had ever experienced. Not horror from space, but from absolute solitude. Number 13. Buzz Aldrin. He was one of the first humans to walk on the moon, but years later, something he said changed everything. In several interviews, Buzz Aldrin spoke about seeing strange lights during the Apollo 11 mission, objects that followed the spacecraft. The official explanation was simple. Detached rocket panels, space debris, nothing unusual. But clipped out of context, those statements fueled darker theories, claims that the crew encountered something they were never meant to talk about. Aldrin later clarified the sightings. No aliens, no contact. Yet the footage remains, and the doubt never fully disappeared. Number 12. Neil Armstrong. The first man to step onto the moon may not have said what everyone thinks he said. For decades, people believed they knew Armstrong's exact words. But audio experts later questioned the transmission. A missing syllable, a distorted signal, a sentence altered by space itself. This small uncertainty opened the door to much darker interpretations. Claims that parts of the mission audio were lost, edited, or never released. Official records say it was nothing more than signal interference and human memory. But when history depends on a few seconds of sound, even silence becomes suspicious. That's one small step for man. Number 11. Scott Kelly. This time, it isn't a theory. It's measured science. Scott Kelly spent nearly one full year aboard the International Space Station, moving faster than any human on Earth below him. Because of Einstein's theory of relativity, that speed mattered. When Kelly returned, scientists confirmed something unsettling. He had aged slightly less than his identical twin brother on Earth. The difference was tiny, just milliseconds. But it was real, documented, irreversible. For Scott Kelly, space wasn't just a mission. It was a one-way trip, a few milliseconds into the future. Number 10. Mark Kelly. He never left Earth for a full year like his brother. But that's exactly why this case matters. Mark Kelly stayed on the planet while his identical twin, Scott, lived in orbit. Same DNA, same age, two different clocks. When Scott returned, scientists compared them. The result was subtle and disturbing. Mark was now older than his twin. Not by days, not by seconds, but by measurable time lost to space itself. Mark Kelly became the control subject in the first real human experiment 
proving that astronauts don't just explore space. They leave the present behind. Number 9. Sergei Krikalev Earlier, you heard the historical version of his time travel. Now comes the part that's literal. Sergei Krikalev didn't just watch the world change from orbit, he also physically drifted into the future, by science. After spending an extreme amount of time in space, moving at orbital speed again and again, relativity adds up. Calculations widely cited in science coverage suggest Krikalev ended up fractions of a second younger than he would have been if he'd stayed on Earth. It's not a movie jump. It's a quiet, cold fact. In orbit, the clock really does slip. Number 8. Sergei Avdeyev. Some astronauts gain milliseconds. He gained enough time to become a headline. Sergei Avdeyev spent multiple long missions in orbit, moving at the same brutal speed around Earth, day after day, month after month. Relativity doesn't hit you like lightning. It stacks, quietly. Avdeyev is often cited in science explanations as one of the humans who traveled the farthest into the future by pure physics, ending up fractions of a second younger than he would have been on the ground. It sounds harmless, but it proves the mechanism is real. Spaceflight doesn't just change your location, it changes your timeline. Number 7. Peggy Whitson. Some people go to space once. She kept going back. Peggy Whitson spent an extraordinary number of days in orbit, living at the edge of Earth's gravity where speed and altitude quietly distort time. No special effects, no theories, just the math of relativity doing its work, second by second. The more time you spend up there, the more the difference accumulates. Tiny, but permanent. Whitson's career shows something eerie. You don't need a wormhole to time travel. You just need to stay in orbit long enough for the clock to start slipping. Number 6. Christina Cook. A long mission doesn't just test the body, it tests the clock. Christina Cook spent an extended stretch aboard the ISS, circling Earth at orbital speed, day after day, with no pause. Up there, time doesn't break in half. It bends, barely, but measurably. Because of relativity, every hour in orbit nudges you a fraction ahead of everyone on the ground. Not enough to feel, enough to prove it's real. When the mission ends, you come home. And Earth is the same. But your timeline isn't perfectly synced anymore. Number 5. Valery Polyakov. 437 days without leaving orbit. Valery Polyakov holds the record for the longest continuous stay in space, more than 14 months moving at orbital velocity, non-stop. While his body adapted to microgravity, something else was quietly changing. Time. According to relativity, that constant speed meant Polyakov's clock ticked just a little slower than every clock on Earth below him. For Not enough to rewrite history, but enough to confirm a disturbing truth. The longer you stay up there, the further ahead you drift, even if you never notice it happening. Number 4. Gennady Padalka. This wasn't one long mission, it was a lifetime in orbit. Gennady Padalka spent more total time in space than almost anyone in human history. Multiple missions, years above Earth. Each orbit meant extreme speed. Each day meant a clock running just a bit slower than the one below him. Individually, the difference was invisible. But stacked over years, those fractions of time became undeniable. Padalka didn't jump through time. He accumulated it, piece by piece, until his personal timeline no longer matched Earth's perfectly. Number 3. Oleg Kononenko. This story isn't finished yet. Oleg Kononenko holds the modern record for total time spent in space. More days in orbit than any human before him. Mission after mission, the effect kept stacking. Speed, altitude, relativity. Every orbit pushed his clock a fraction behind Earth's. Not in theory, in reality. Scientists don't call it science fiction. They call it accumulated time dilation. Kononenko didn't cross into the future once. He's been drifting into it for years. Number 2. 
Sunita Williams. By the time she returned to Earth, the clocks had already disagreed. Sunita Williams spent long missions aboard the ISS, orbiting the planet every 90 minutes at more than 17,000 miles per hour. That speed matters, because at that velocity, time itself slows, just enough to measure. Williams didn't feel it. No one does. But physics doesn't care about perception. When you stay in orbit long enough, you don't come back exactly when you left. You return slightly ahead, out of sync with everyone else. It's subtle, silent, and completely irreversible. Number 1. International Space Station. This isn't about one astronaut. It's about everyone who has lived up there. Every crew member aboard the International Space Station moves faster than anyone on Earth. Every second. Every orbit. According to relativity, that speed means one thing. Time on the ISS runs slower than on the ground. Not in theory. In measurement. That means every astronaut who returns from the station comes back from the future. By milliseconds. Sometimes more. They don't notice it. Earth doesn't react, but the math is absolute. Humanity has already built a place where time no longer matches the rest of the planet. And the more time we spend there, the further we drift from the present we left behind. Uh, very, very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. I'm going to step off the limb. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind.